your business to a whole new level. We are back and we are here for business, of course, and all of the conversations that we have. We have a very interesting topic that we're discussing. And yes, we're looking at corporate, pl- um, corporate planning and mind mapping and so many things that has to do with that. Remember, you're still here with Daisy, Izu and Essay. So, yes, we are talking about corporate planning, structuring, strategy and mind mapping. It's essentially like getting a solid foundation for your business and figuring out how you grow it from the ground up, right, Izu? Yup, 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 yup. So, where do you start in that? Like, what is a mind map? Like, when you are, how do you put your mind in a map? <laughs> okay, so um, I, I don't want to be technical, but mind map is actually a diagram to start with, first of all. So you can put it in the same category as you put a flow chart, you know, a, a, a histogram, whatever, Excel, whatever it is. Um, so every major diagram is originally owned by a particular industry. For example, we use, everybody uses Excel, but Excel is originally owned by accounting guys, mm-hmm. right? Um, people use equations a lot, but equations are originally owned by mathematics, right? So mind map is used by almost everyone but the original owners of a mind map are the military guys right so mind map Ooh. is yeah so mind map is when you centralize a conversation right or a goal and then you now draw touch points to it so for example i want to mind map my life i can draw a circle and write isu's life then draw different other circles and link them like isu's health which is part of isu's life mm-hmm. isu's family which is part of isu's life isu's spirituality which is part of isu's life now just look at the three and I said, because I mind map my Isu's health, I can now say Isu's diet, which is part of Isu's health, oh. right? I can now say Isu's rest and sleep, which is part of Isu's, Isu's weight. So you see that there's an interdependent. So it's a inside out diagram that becomes like a web as you keep going. It's an mm. interesting stuff. It originally, was designed by, stra- um, by military to win a war. So they want to take over a territory. They circle the territory they're going to take over. Then they start oh. to mind map all the tools they need to take over. The so, for example, if I want to take over, I'm just saying, a small place in, say, Lagos, military. Now, let me just say, I'll circle, say, Lagos. Then I'll circle all the smaller things I need to do. So, air, I can come in through the airport. I can say, sea. I can now circle all the waterways into mm. Lagos. You know, Bonny Camp. So, it's an interesting concept, but it's something that affects your neural pathway. Once you start to mind map, right? And this is just a very weird stuff, right? I'm showing you my sheets, right? Yeah. See all the circles I draw, right? So oh, this is how you mind map. After a while, your neural pathway changes and it helps you strategic thinking. So whenever there's a problem, you think of the problem from touch points perspective, hmm. right? In anything, in anything. So, I mean, if you come in here and you are abusive to me, I can quickly just mind map what are all the issues that might make you abusive. Or I can say, okay, you know, maybe she might have a mental problem or maybe she might be stressed mm. or maybe I said something wrong. Now, if mm-hmm. I said something wrong, I cannot mind map what did I say wrong, okay. right? If I say it's mental health, I can say what type of mental health is it natural? Are you like schizophrenic or are you like someone who has a fundamental problem or something that's induced so it helps you with root cause analysis right it's interesting but <laughs> sorry it's quite interesting okay. but it's a strategy too let's leave it at that uh, okay so um, i'm laughing because i mean we're on national radio uh, a lot of things are doing boom 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 like <laughs> <laughs> help us understand what is a neuro pathway <laughs> <laughs> okay so just help us break this down right break mm. the dragons a little bit down so when you say when you use mind mapping over time it helps your neuro pathway to understand things better yeah could you help us understand that when you say yeah just yeah so psych- psychologically like human beings are thought process Literally, if you look at, if you can take like how we think and put it yeah. like in, a, in in a computer, you see that there are neural parts. I'm sure computer. You see when they describe the brain, all those things you see that mm. are lines, lines in your brain. You know how the diagram of brain is. Yeah. They're actually neurons. They're actually nerves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, and those nerves carry currents, like neural pathways. They actually. That's why I mean, someone can tickle you, you jump up because okay. actually takes current up to your brain. If, is that is actually that? If you need dramatic. a visual analysis of this, <laughs> go and watch Iron Man three. Continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. so, but those neural pathways can be altered. And so, this is how what happens with habits, right? So, someone, that was a bad habit, it's smoking, right? Someone who, who'd never smoked before, right? Mm. Have this set of friends who, every time they want to go to the toilet, they, they, they go to the toilet smoke. After a while, he connects the neural pathway. He goes there two, three times. Then his brain automatically saves, right? So, the brain mm. is, a, is an organ that makes you really lazy. The brain, you do things two, three times. The brain saves it so you can reuse it again. That process of saving it so you can reuse it again, right, is really what you call habits. Okay. So you now realize that people that smoke, every time they feel like using the toilet, 
they need a cigarette mm. because your brain just connects smoking and using the restroom. Re- like that, that's why some people smell is a thing. Like I mean, you, if you love someone so deeply and then something happens, you chop breakfast. Four years later, you smell the person's perfume. You mm-hmm. have the same feeling again. Break like down triggers the middle of the road. Path, <laughs> yeah, depending <laughs> on how, how deep the... So that's the neural pathway thing. So mind map is literally... The good thing about mind mapping is that when you do mind map, after a while, it changes your neural pathway to solving problems. You now know that problems aren't exactly problems. What we call problems are symptoms, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So are you, the problem is that people try to solve problems attacking the symptoms, right? The problem is you don't know what the problem is. You think the problem is the symptoms. The problem... If I have malaria right most of us would like to attack malaria oh i'm cold i'm shivering i have a headache yeah you know is, you could take paracetamol yeah you're going to solve the symptoms but you're not going to solve the malaria so you'll be temporarily okay so you have a temporary solution to a permanent problem mm. so what's the root cause of malaria is plasmodium mm. which is the the malaria thing let's, Sorry. Leave, let's leave malaria <laughs> alone, please. Let, let's, move let's move on let's move on and short okay. of the story is that everything is a battle <laughs> your way of looking at <laughs> this, your beast military people that invented it so everything you do as your mind mapping you're going yes, to war yes actually strategy is a battle yeah the best way look at it this way the best strategist and, and this is why there's a correlation between why the best politicians in nigerians have military background mm. right see why dan juma even Buhari. When you say best, people would <laughs> When I say the best, <laughs> the most prominent. No, the, 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 the just, best. Just use prominent. prominent. The most prominent. No, the best but politics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, but but the commission I didn't say good. I said best. Best is results. The people who have conquered and been your president, whether you like it or not. The fact that can even be your president, like it or not, means I'm doing something right. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you can't even say that a Tunubu is not a mastermind. For example, his mm-hmm. his mind works. I mean, how do you even do what he's done? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, so. But here's my point. My point is. If you must be a great businessman, you must actually think like essay thoughts to say that it's a battlefield. The business world, market is a battlefield. The, the competitor is your customer. Your comp- customer is your competitor. Think of it like a battlefield. And like every battle, there's a price. The price is the customer. So let me say the metaphor again. Market is battlefield. Mm. Competitor is the same thing as, um, as enemy in okay. war right uh, okay. you don't go into a war to be second place there's no oh. second place for war yeah so yeah. you don't go into business to be second place mm-hmm. so um, i'm going to say what equals what yeah. market equals battlefield mm. enemy equals competitor mm. price equals customer the ultimate goal okay. is to win a customer i don't know if you understand the yeah, yeah. You, so you've got to have that yeah. that <laughs> military mind you have to have that kill or be killed mentality that's why they what? say business world is capitalists are crude and brutal but you can't really be a great capitalist right without having that warrior state of mind hunger right? games yes hunger games <laughs> <laughs> so i'm trying oh to make it relatable <laughs> how did hunger games <laughs> okay all right so we have dealt with the corporate strategy we are trying actually we are talking about corporate strategy and izu has helped us to understand that this is a battle guys it is the the battle line has been drawn we are ready to fight <laughs> to get the prize which is the customer so um um, we've talked about mind mapping as well, right? So, how important is mind mapping in corporate strategy? Ah, it's the unit. I think it's the unit of strategy. If you ask me, mm. like the unit of strategy, it's so important. And um, usually, the same way it goes inside out. It has to go from inside out. Or if you were to convert, you know, the good thing about every diagram is you can convert them to anything. If not seven diagram, mm. you can convert it to another diagram. For mm-hmm. example, a table is a diagram right but you can convert a table i'm talking about like mathematics now you know the table they draw in math yeah. you can convert it to a graph yeah you can convert a graph to an equation mm. right you know what I'm why is mc why is it mc plus L- leave us, that's yeah, a linear equation leave put it a graph a it's a line if it was x square so, quadratic but that's the beauty thing the beauty thing about it is that if you convert inside out to top bottom the same thing as top bottom so you can't build a great company with strategy that is not top bottom mm. most people try to build anything bottom top right and that's the biggest problem you can have so change does not come in a company from the people below to the guys up and this is the biggest problem mds have they have a new concept they want to drive it from the bottom so for example you say guys from now on all of you must wear uniforms right as the md you're the first person to wear uniform because you must go from up down you see the problem is that they put no smoking sign. Meanwhile, the MD smokes in the office. Mm. It's hard. Mm. So it has to be bottom. 
um, top bottom. Yeah. It's just good. Uh, sound like Buhari, top to bottom. <laughs> but yeah, it has to be. It has top to, to be bottom. top to bottom. To bottom. In this to case. Top to bottom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the top to bottom strategy is very, very valid here. Okay. Um, we have to go on a short break. Okay. When we come back, we are going to be discussing how to evaluate all of this and if there are some tools that have been put in place for cost, uh, for companies to use. You know, just to help you in your business and so much more. So stay with us. You still live. And before we went, we promised you that when we come back, we're going to deal with evaluation. So that's the big question. So mm. the big question is, I mean, in ter- the reason you're mind mapping and developing battle plans and doing hunger games in your office <laughs> is because you want is because you want to reach a certain goal. So like, how does a company define? So how do you how do you know you've won the war when there's no dead bodies around you? That's sarcastically hilarious. Okay. All right. So um, just like another great case study would be sports. So like battlefield that's war sports or business they all carry same things so how do you know you've won in a sports game is the scoreboard the goalpost right mm-hmm. and the time yeah right so the equivalent of that in business is how do you know you've won four variables finance mm-hmm. two quality of experience all the stakeholders get especially your customers also quality of experience your employees get shows whether you're winning or not okay. right so first one is finance second one is experience third one is structure structure means how you can do things easily without chasing people or micromanaging mm-hmm. how fast you can get product out what you call cycle time a lot of delays in companies come from lack of structure mm-hmm. if you had the structure you would not take that long for you to do what you're doing right i give a good example a toyota factory can produce you 100 cars in one hour that's structure mm. 100 cars from beginning to end tire engine everything fixed everything that's structure mm-hmm. you reduce cycle time right and then lastly innovation so four variables you use is finance experience structure innovation each of them of course have their smaller elements mm-hmm. around that so if you want to know you've won finance look at your income statement and your balance sheet mm. if you're not making profit you didn't. when they say the biggest bank in address they shout out to um first bank i facilitated their strategy session last weekend and it was easy to know whether they won or not is how much did you make last year mm. mm-hmm. how much did you say you're going to make let's compare how much you were going to make with how much you made so naira men lie numbers men lie women lie numbers don't numbers don't lie mm. right you can form rich when we check your account balance we know whether you're rich mm. Mm. literally if you have some um, <laughs> descriptances, by the way, to know which one is the money and which one is not yours, I think we already dealt with money. I yeah, think, like, finance last one two time. Weeks. Two, yeah, yeah. yeah, last two weeks we dealt with finance and money and all of that. So that's exactly why you should always keep a time with us every single Thursday morning because we dish out Rema here, see, for your business. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so if someone is winning something this morning, we like to give out free things on the show. And we are business minded people. We love money so we want to connect you to people that love money networking is very very important it can not be overemphasized when it comes to business i mean if you sit in your house and you and someone else that is outside the person outside definitely is gonna be yeah yeah Yeah. so it's very very important so we are giving out a ticket today yes to the breakfast with izu at echo hotel we love to have fun we love to eat good quality intercontinental buffet style Mm -hmm. meal and um, this weekend we're going to host uh, tens of CEOs, right, in a room, all top level. The criteria originally is people that make over 100 million naira in revenue and people who have at least 20 staff and above. But if you want to be a part of that, it's a breakfast session in Echo Hotel, right? Um, this weekend, um, the last floor of Echo Hotel, outlooking the Echo Atlantic is a magical view, right? So if you want to attend, um, Call on the show, you can win a free ticket. But if you want to pay to attend, or you just want to nominate somebody to attend, you might even get it for free. We'll do a ballot. All you need to do is say interested. Just text interested to the number 080-3520-2891. Just say interested to the number 080-3520-2891. Okay, just drop us a DM on Instagram. My name is Izu, E-I-Z-U. But call in and you can win a ticket. Exactly. Now, I need to, we need to put this out there. Now, we just don't want anybody, okay? Like you have heard, these are the who is who's. So, if you think you're intelligent, you think you have what it, it, you have what it takes, right? 
you feel that you, you can roll with the big boys. Exactly. <laughs> so if you feel you can do all of these things and um, you want to be a winner this morning, by the way, you should buy the ticket. But then just to give it to somebody that you know needs it, right? Just call in and win a ticket. So what question are we asking today? What are the four KPIs, for those of you who do not know what KPIs are, <laughs> key performance indicators by which a business measures success? Thank you. So here are the questions. Oh, here is the question. And we have answers. There are plenty of answers and we are looking forward to them. Answers, by the way, how many are they? I think There's five four. or ten. There's, oh, oh, it's four. <laughs> There's only four. There are four. We just but you will name all four. But okay. you will name all four. There's no two out of four. There's no three out of four. You have to four. <laughs> All right, number is zero eight one eight two four two six five nine one zero eight one eight two four two six five nine one and then of course send us a message on whatsapp the first message is the winner by the way so the earlier you send the better zero eight one eight double zero eight nine nine three three that is zero eight one eight double zero eight nine nine three three what are those things that you look out for to know if a business is successful exactly we have a caller hi good morning welcome to the show what's your name and where you calling from hello good morning can you hear us Okay, um, I don't know what that was, but please, if you call, um, first off, turn down the volume on your radio set, second off, speak up so we can hear you, and we'll take your calls. We have calls trooping in. Hi, good morning. Uh, that's one of the things we said, turn down the volume on your radio set. Hi, good morning. Oh my God, what's happening this morning? Hello? I'm trying to pick this call. Oh, I lost it. I lost it again. Try again. 0818-242-6591. That is 0818-242-6591. And then, of course, the other number that you can call is 0818-008-9933. I don't know. It seems like there is one good luck charm waiting for somebody. I mean, we've had like three callers and... <laughs> What's happening? Somebody's so, village members. I was walking on their behalf. <laughs> Somebody's Shilo 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 visit is working. Yeah, it's, drive fast. Is working. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> so the next caller, hopefully, uh, who could this person be? Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, your name and where you're calling from? Okay, my name is William. I'm calling from Aja. Williams from Aja, welcome to the show. You are our lucky winner for today. I know you're going to win, but then. <laughs> Give us those four KPIs. Let's go. Like the full meaning of the word. Uh, oh, no, 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 not the full meaning <laughs> of KPI. Um, what are those measures that you put in place to ensure a successful business? There are four of them. We mentioned them. What are they? Um, experience. Okay. Finance. Experience, finance. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Finance, yeah. Did you say financial? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I said experience, number one. Okay. Finance. All right. Is that all? Uh, uh, no, like, I'm... You're not sure. All right, let's give someone else the opportunity, okay? okay? okay. Networking is very important. Okay, networking is very, very important. Thank you so much. But that's not part of it. We have another caller calling in. Hi, Good morning. Good morning. Please, could you turn down the volume on your radio set, please? Yes, I'm on that. Chukwemeka from VGC. Welcome, Chukwemeka. It's nice to have you yes. on the show. So, um, first of all, tell us, uh, what's the meaning of KPI? But that's not the question. <laughs> KPI? Yeah. Okay, let's oh, let's be fair. Maybe I'm being unfair right now. All right, give us the, give <laughs> us the, give us the four <laughs> give us the four KPIs to a successful business. Okay, networking. Okay. Financing. Mm -hmm. Experience. Mm -hmm. Experience and, and uh, oh my god, that 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 broke my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Oh, we lost you. Please call back. Numbers are still the same. 0818-242-6591.
And then on what, um, another number that you can call or even send us a message on WhatsApp is 0818 Good morning. Hello. What's your name and where are you calling uh, from, please? I called, I, I'm the one that called earlier. Oh, I'm going to mention it confidently. Williams, I'm so happy. I love your confidence this morning. <laughs> please go ahead. Mind mapping. Okay. Um, sorry, um, finance. Okay. Finance quality of quality of employees. Okay. Structure. Okay. And experience. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Williams. But <laughs> should we approximate? No, <laughs> three point five. That was more like twenty quarter. <laughs> okay. Let's give someone else a chance. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Uh, why can't we hear him or her? Uh, okay, um, please call back, call back. Network, network is not working on that part. Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, this is the second time that this is happening. Let's check our phone lines and then, of course, we give you opportunities to call back again. Um, one more time. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, this is obviously a technical issue. All right, we're going to just find a way to deal with it. And, of course, we'll take your calls. But then, what are we winning again? Um, I think that's pretty much... Um, I think uh, another thing that I'm doing great is what are the, um, the challenges that... It, the most recurring challenges Nigerian businesses face. Um, mm. Yeah. All right, let's try and take more calls then. Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yay! What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Shegun is my name, calling from Ikeja. Welcome, Shegun. We can't wait to have you on Saturday. Please tell us what the 4 KPIs to building a successful business is. Yeah, experience. Okay. Speed. Speed. As in speed. Uh, yeah, finance. What? Then an innovation. Did you say speed of your finance or you said speed? No, speed. Speed. Speed to, speed to uh, production speed. How you are able okay. to... Oh, yeah, okay. that's where he gave an example of Toyota producing an American car in Nana. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, please keep going. Yes. So, experience, speed, mm. innovation, and finance. Experience, speed, innovation, and finance. Thank you so much, but you did not get it. Oh my nice. God. Nice. What's wrong with you, people? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> we wire mark that. We wire mark that. <laughs> Oh my god, we just have a minute on the show, we have to run, but I feel so, I, I don't know, please can we clarify this, I'm hearing speed, I'm hearing networking, mm. I'm hearing... I use speed as an example for structure. <laughs> we don't have so much time, let's just wrap this up. Guys, it's been an amazing time right here on the show, thank you so, so much for joining. Those of you that called in, those of you that text, actually we didn't get any text, I, you should have just sent a text, right? You can try multiple times on text, but then it's okay. We don't have time. Um, you want to see some last words before we go? Finance, quality of experience, structure, and innovation. Ta-da! <laughs> For next time. Be me say, <laughs> that's all. But don't worry. Um, if you didn't win a ticket, of course, you can join in. Just send, yes? Send interested. You can still attend. Um, just say interested.